Welcome to this lab, this interesting lab. It's not as large in size as others, but it has interesting ideas. And would you please uh, thank John for Most of these tools are about the same, just do different things a little differently. Um, we're going to start here. We have a couple 3D scanners. So what these will do is actually scan an arm or a face and then render it to be 3D printed or edited or built on. So this is actually a, a scanner that you would hold and walk around the object. But we also have this next engine 3D scanner where you put the object in here and then it will rotate and take multiple pictures. And then finally we have the MakerBot scanner where the uh, scanner is again stationary and it has infrared sensors, laser sensors rather, and I believe two cameras. It could be wrong, could be one. And then it will rotate the, the table and take a picture of the image. If you look over there, you might see a yellow a uh, palm tree in that box, perhaps? Yeah. Down? Down. Yeah. It's also the box. Yeah, the squishy one. Go for that. And then, s <laughs> yeah, and now, uh, here, I will go around. Okay. Close. Okay, we have this. This is a stress uh, ball type of deal that is a palm tree, and then it was scanned and 3D printed with one of our printers. And that's some that's some solid plastic if you want to hold it. Um, then moving on to our three D printers and capabilities, most most of yeah, most of these three D prints are coming out of the dimension right here. Um, we just got that. We just got some new servo motors in that, so it'll be operational again soon. But right now we can't do much with it. It is the larger three D printer, and you can use print structure and um, material so you print a structure to build on and then you will dip it in a bath and the structure will disintegrate and then you just left with your uh, your object so you can do different angles that you can't with normal 3d printers uh, so okay can you tell us what this is again this is the dimension 3d printer it's a larger printer that can print two different filaments one for structure and then one to make your actual object and it's so if there's any overhangs, you can build up, and it's not just hovering over uh, air. And then you'll take the, the plate and put in a solution that dissolves the structure, and then you're left with your object. And then behind everybody on that wall, sorry, I know it's a tiny room. These are some 3D printers that are on the uh, low cost end. Actually, these newer ones are cheaper than those, but do about the same quality because uh, those are, whenever the 3D printing technology was first becoming popular, um, those are about $1,300 each, where this is like $300. And this is the MakerBot, this is the one I've used the most. And it just can print about a 3 by 3 by 4 or 5. Um, but it's good for little things, like if you're doing a keychain. I made a coast, couple coasters with it. And then this is one that we just finished building. We haven't... Uh, had the time to test it yet or make sure the programming's good but uh, we put it together so you can get it in kits or you can get it already made and um, then this is filament uh, that would actually make the 3D printing you can get uh, PLA which it, the different filament is going to go at different um, for different heat but it can also do different quality um, you can also get filament that has ferrous powder in it to make it magnetic so then you could uh, uh, some people I've seen may, did a robot competition where they had to lift something up, so they just printed something out of uh, this metal plastic, and then they can use an electromagnet to lift it. And no, there is something. It was powder and something with this material. It's different. Not, not this one, but yeah, it's uh, the plastic is mixed with a iron powder, so a ferrous powder is what they call it, and then whenever you print it, it's magnetic, so it has properties of iron, mm -hmm. but you can print it. Well, they talk about uh, making a heart, human heart, mm -hmm. or uh, members of a body from 3D printing. Yeah, and you wouldn't you wouldn't use like PLA, but yeah, it'd be the same concept, just with the different materials that they would know more about than I would. You can get 3D uh, printing material that can hold a take a current, so I'm sure that has a lot to do with it. Especially if it's a heart, you're going to want to have some current going through there. Very good. 